All right, guys, real quick. I know uh, I talked about Moog being a issue in one of my videos. It's the real reason why putting together a video is even remotely realistic is because I replaced close to like $40,000 in parts this year. And through the middle of the year, my biggest issue was is you know, Moog, Moog is a pretty good brand. I mean, most people look at it as one of the best brands. Some people look at it vice versa. Moog is owned by Federal Mogul. Federal Mogul pretty much makes every damn part out there. So my biggest problem is, is Federal Mogul was United States, mostly made in America for years and years and years and years and years. And about two years ago, they decided to go to China. Well, what we've seen in the difference is, is over the course of the last six months, every part that I've put on has been garbage. Um, I've got parts that I that don't even get put onto vehicles because I can open up the box and I know it's junk. Now, to say that, I mean, it's like... Uh, I, I literally have tons and tons of parts here. Um, I'm just going to take and show you the main part, what's most important right now. So, let's see if you can see that. Now you know any glasses. <laughs> uh, North America, all right? North America, this is a, a Moog product that... Uh, would probably still be good. You know, I ordered these like a year ago. Yeah, there's just some uh, control arm bushings. Uh, I think I later scaped out and got uh, the control arm uh, assembly. That way I didn't have to try to press them. Uh, this one here is a wheel bearing for my 2000 F250. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Made in China, made in China, made in China. Now, I believe, yeah, here we go. Now, this one also will say North America. Now, the difference that I've seen is some of the newer boxes see if I've got it made in China okay even if so I gotta find maybe maybe my older box okay this one this one does not say North America anywhere on the box that was a recent purchase this is like three months old just control arm um, the wheel bearing, that's like two months old, the federal mogul, the products themselves haven't lasted. I've had, I've had bearings I've put on literally changed the same day. The problem is, is no one's paying us, you know, DIY, mechanic shop, I don't care who you are. No one's paying anybody to replace these parts and then paying the, paying, paying the labor to replace them again. So if you, you're a, a builder or you're a, you know, just a DIY or, you know, you help maintain local cars, whatever, keep your eyes on this. This is, this is unrealistic that we should be able to buy these parts and have them not last. Now, Advanced AutoZone, uh, the ones local around us, they'll replace any Moog part with a CarQuest part. I'm not saying that's an upgrade, I'm just saying that's better than lasting, you know, a week, two weeks, you know, a day, 30 days. This is, you know, I've contacted, I've, I've contacted a lawyer on it, and uh, the biggest response that I get is, you know, they're not interested unless somebody got hurt. So 
My biggest problem is when you got someone as large as Federal Mogul and people putting them parts on all day long, all across the, lo uh, the, the globe, you know, these parts are on cars that people have either had work done or had work done elsewhere. It's just, I guarantee you that there has been accidents. I guarantee you there has been deaths. These parts coming in the way they have, not only to me, but the local shops and other places around that I've talked to, got like three right down the road, you know, it, it's it's really sad to see, you know, a big company such as Federal Mogul, Moog, should have everything sent over to China, made in China, and then sent back here. And, and you know, like I said, the flip-flop on these boxes is one of the sh sure tail signs that the uh, American product that was being made, the good product that was being made, is running out. And what you're seeing now is the filter of Chinese garbage coming in. And whether it's the the material itself, um, I will get into the next few videos. I will be taking and cutting a few ball joints open. I've already cut a couple ball joints open. Um, I basically, I'll show you the inside uh, material. Now, I, I, I've been a, a railroad employee for, it'll be 16 years in a month. And uh, I used to watch uh, rail cars be built, watch wheels, rail car wheels be built, bearings be built. You look at old school bearings, uh, old school rail car bearings, locomotive bearings. They were all brass. They were all steel on brass, and they'd usually have some kind of wick that would keep them oiled. And uh, looking at today's products, there's too many products out here, like ball joints, that could realistically be built in a way that you wouldn't have as short of a lifespan.